Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Thanksgiving is coming and we keep hearing about all of the food shortages and that we can't get the things that we want or that they're going to cost far more this year. Well, I recently traveled down to the Sonoran Desert to spend some of the winter months as a snowbird and I wanted to share with you what I found at the grocery store. The grocery store in this area is Fry's, which is part of Kroger, so it's the same as Fred Meyer's would be in the Pacific Northwest, except it's only groceries. They don't have any of the other departments like clothing or electronics like you would find in a Fred Meyer. It's just a grocery store. I was happily surprised to see how well the store was stocked, how clean it was, and everything just seemed to have a pretty good price to me. Of course, prices are always going to be lower, I suppose, in the lower 48 than they are in Alaska, but I found that there was anything I could want and the prices were reasonable for what I was expecting to find. So let me show you. My camera did go kind of wacky. I don't know exactly what happened. I was trying to take pictures around the store and it made some sort of a, like a movie digest. I'll go ahead and show you the pictures that I took of what was available and what were the prices in this fries market in the Sonoran Desert area of the Southwest. Turkeys. They had massive amounts of turkeys, all different sizes, and I thought the prices were reasonable. It was as low as $1.29 per pound for a whole turkey, which I think is reasonable price. They had canning jars, lots of canning jars, several sizes, various prices from $17.29, $11.99, depending on the size of the jar, of course. They didn't have any just lids. They did have lids with bands. They also had paper plates, which can be harder to find these days. They had small packs and large packs, and the small pack was actually a better buy. Jiffy Muffin makes only 55 cents. Eagle Brand, two for five dollars. They had just stacks and stacks of the foods you would be looking for. Large Pumpkin for $3.99. Brown Sugar, three for five dollars. Four dollars for four boxes of Kleenex. They had Thai detergent on sale and look they have little locks on it. I've never seen a lock on detergent before. Is it being shoplifted? They had bleach. Lots of big boxes of Kleenex brand. They had the store brand and the Kleenex brand. Different prices but they were way less expensive than they are in Alaska. And then they had an entire wall of all of the Thanksgiving goodies. Flour, pumpkin, two sizes. They had small cans and large cans. They had canola oil, yams or sweet potatoes, stuffing mixes, the cream soups. They had lots of different flavors. You can get the cream of something. And they have the French fried, the fried onion things that go on your green bean topping along with beans and broth and ocean spray cranberry sauce. So, Look at the wall, it's just stuffed with the foods that you would want for Thanksgiving. I was very pleased with what I saw at this Fry's grocery store. I wanted to share with you the items that I bought specifically for my prepping needs. I wanted to get a new bottle of bleach. I haven't been down here in nearly two years and bleach is something you can use to purify water. Bleach needs to be rotated because the bleach compound in it, whatever it is that does the purifying, doesn't last and it turns into just water. So you want to make sure that you get just plain bleach. Don't get splashless. Don't get anything with an aroma or a scent. Get just plain disinfecting bleach. Luckily, the bottle of bleach only cost $1.19. It's really come down in price. There was a long time we couldn't get bleach at any price, and now we can. I'll put a link to a video I made on how to disinfect water and purify it with bleach so that you can have that information if it's something that you're interested in. I bought some peanut butter because they had the small jars, four for $5, which I thought was an amazingly inexpensive price. You do have to remember though that you rotate your peanut butter. I have had some that was several years expired and it was rancid. When I opened it, it looked fine, but it smelled terrible. And so peanut butter isn't a food that's going to last forever because it has so much oil in it, but it will last for quite a while. If you eat peanut butter and you are able to rotate it, maybe add them if you can find them at a good price.
I bought a jar of dry roasted peanuts. Different kind of nuts are nice to have in your food storage because you can just open and eat them. You can snack on them, you can add them into your meals, and they're a very good source of protein. Don't try to stock up so much that you can't eat them all before the date on them because they will become stale or even rancid. And so you want to try to rotate your nuts or store them in the freezer for them to last the longest. I also bought a bag of pistachios because they are number one delicious, they're versatile. You can add them in your recipes, you can snack on them, you could put them in your bug out bag, you're going out for the day bag, they're an easy snack to have that are full of protein. Pistachios are a heart healthy snack. I don't store them though in the cellophane or bag wrapper because it's not going to keep them as fresh as if you store them into a glass jar with a tight fitting lid. Store small amounts in smaller jars so that you don't have so much extra air and oxygen in your jar that it contributes to your food spoiling sooner. The better you store your food, the longer it lasts. So you want to store it as airtight as possible, which means less air in the jar. So make your jar fit the amount of food that you're putting in it. On the big wall of Thanksgiving foods, they had cans of broth for a dollar, but then I found the store brand that were only 50 cents, two for one dollar. So I quickly added those into my prepper pantry stockpile. I bought a box of the Jiffy corn muffin mix. They were only 55 cents, which I think is a great deal. I recently made a video about how I make a corn casserole with a box of Jiffy, a couple of cans of corn and egg. I'll put a link to that video if you would like to try my simple recipe for corn casserole. It's so good. I'm not a big fan of cornmeal, but I love the corn casserole. It is just a different flavor and I like it a lot. Cornbread and cornmeal mixes are things that I have also had trouble with in my food storage when I have things in the hot climate in the desert. They just tend to get the bugs in them, so I always put them in the freezer before I put them into the pantry. And I still try to rotate them faster than other foods because I just have had bad luck with corn products lasting in a warmer climate. So take that into account when you decide how much of a product that you choose to buy. There's someone in my family who just thinks Oreos are the greatest and they had so many different flavors. I normally wouldn't buy this many cookies, but because the holidays are coming up, families will be gathering together and there were just so many varieties I had to show them with you. I've never seen all of these varieties. There's caramel coconut, chocolate marshmallow, birthday cake and look at this cool holiday joy with red frosting and then of course it wouldn't be Oreos without some double stuff. There are dates on the cookies and these go all the way out to April 2022 so there's about six months shelf life on these if they're still going to be fresh. So I don't think I overbought the cookies for the people in my family that are planning on eating them, but it might be too many if it's for your family. So choose the amount of food that, especially something like cookies that will go stale and they won't be very good. Don't overbuy so many that you can't eat them up. It doesn't make sense to stockpile things that then get become wasted because you can't eat them all before they're no longer good and safe to eat. It's nice to have food variety in your prepper pantry that you can eat within the next six months. And then you wanna have, say, your canned and packaged and dry goods that can last even longer. And then of course, remember to have your dry beans, rice, oatmeal, things like that, that are going to last if some SHTF comes along and then we don't have the variety at the store that we can find these days, then you'll still have plenty to eat no matter what the future holds. Leave a comment on what things you're finding at this store these days and things that you notice are missing and if you think these prices, how they compare to the prices where you live. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.